three, two, one. Professional salesmanship, I am social. Now, we discuss advantages of being a salesman over office worker. Ano na ba yun? First, unlimited earning opportunities. Next is flexible working hours. What else? More fun and adventure. What else? Less tension and greed. And less, of course, less employment requirements and chances of promotion and growth. We start with unlimited earning opportunities. When we speak of un um, un unlimited earning opportunities, and then you commissions, and then you incentive, and then you rewards and awards, and then you fringe benefits. I started working as a pharmaceutical when I was already 22. I worked after graduation, I worked, oh, even before graduation, I used to work with Jollibee in fast food chain. I started a service crew, so working student ako. Then upon, uh, after from a graduate, but continue ako ng employment to with Jollibee. However, class, do you gonna realize that I think, I think, I want, kasi we were, we were, we were poor. Hindi naman kami mayaman. Actually, we are really poor. That's why I have to work, um, I have to have double job. Nag double job ako, I'm working with Jollibee, at nag start na ako ng pagiging medre, or medical representative, while working with Johnny. So, what happened in time na yun is that I worked Monday to Monday to Friday sa pharmaceutical and then Friday ng gabi, Saturday and Sunday nasa Jollibee naman ako. I worked three days because um, I was already assigned sa parties. And usually ang parties sa Jollibee ay Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, what I'm trying to say is, comparing the two, I was paid sa Jollibee on, on a per hour, per hour basis ang bayar namin. Kasi I was, at the time, pwede ka mag-work ng 6 hours, pwede ka mag-work ng 8 hours, pero after 8 hours, of course, overtime na yun. But, ang kinocompute is per hour. On the other hand, nag-work na ako sa pharmaceutical, the only deal that I have with the company is that I get the minimum salary plus if I'm going to reach the quota, yung quota yung tinatawag natin na sales, nabawa sinabi sa'yo, okay, kailangan mabenta mo 300,000 worth of medicine. Yun yung tinatawag natin quota. That's my quota, 300,000. Basta ka makabenta ka, meron ka pang additional, additional commission. Pag nabenta mo. Pag nakakolekta ka, meron pang additional. So these are the additional earnings that I'm getting from being a salesman. Aside from that, of course, hindi ka naman pwede, hindi ka makakabenta. At the time, hindi ka makakabenta if you are inside the office. So you go out. I was assigned in Laguna, Quezon, and of course, Island. I was assigned in Palawan. I was assigned in Romblon. And even Marinduque. Palawan pala, hindi pa. I was assigned in Palawan, ah, uh, sorry. I was assigned in Marinduque, Roblon, Laguna, Quezon. Okay? Yun yung mga assignment. Of course, to go there, meron din akong allowance. Meron din akong, binibigan din ako ng allowance ng company. At saka yung per day na meal. Because compared to the office people, yung aming support staff, they don't get this kind of allowances. And not only the allowances, they don't also get the commissions and incentives. Ganun ka laki yung diferensya. While well, sa Jollibee, they only get a per hour pag nagtatrabaho. Pero sa ganun sa trabaho doon, ay of course, at simula akong maglilis ng mesa, mag-mop ng floor, uh, mag-buhat, 
Sakman din ako for a while sa Jollibee bago ako na-promote as marketing assistant. I handle parties. Now, plus, bakit ko sinasabi yung unlimited earning opportunity? Because comparing both jobs that I have, dito, they give me what? 3% of the gross sales. Plus, if I collect, they give me additional 5% of all the collection. Pag na-reach mo yung quota. Both sales and collection. So that's a total of 8% additional earnings. On top of your salary, you'll get additional 8% commission. Chapter plus allowances. Halos hindi mo na ginagamit. Kung marunong ka class during my time, hindi mo na nagagamit yan. Kaya it goes directly to my mom na ginagamit na rin for my siblings. Kasi at the time, ako yung panganay. So ako yung nagpapaaral doon sa mga kapatid ko. Patulong ako ng mami ko sa pagpapaaral sa mga kapatid ko. And this is plus something na hindi ko napangarap na magagawa ko. I just have dati kasi na work lang ko, work ng work, na hindi ko naiisip paano ako tutulong with my minimal salary sa Jollibee. I never thought that selling is in me. Pinag-aralan ko class how to be a salesman. And how, of course, I attend the training, I, I, I watch videos, I watch movies, all of these things, class. I tried to to copy the salesperson na nasa harapan ko. I tried to emulate people that I really idolize. Inalam ko ang aking strengths. Inalam ko ang aking weaknesses. All of these things, class. That you will learn all these things as we go along. Okay? Now, what else? Of course, uh, going back, Ano pa ba yung mga benefits? Cars. As pharmaceutical guy or medical representative, we were given cars. Plus, for a poor family, we never expected magkakaroon kami ng kotse at the age of 22. Luma yung kotse ko class. It's not a brand new car, but it is enough for me to bring my mom to the mall nang hindi kami nagkokomute. It, sobrang saya. Nung una kong bin-ride yung, yung kotse class, believe me, I brought that big smile in my mom's face. Sobrang saya. Parang mag-grocer kami, hindi ka sasakay sa jeep, marami kami bibig na plastic. Kasi kanyari, magbubukas ka ng, ng compartment, yung may lalagay. Lahat ng napag-grocer. And not only that class, we grew up without having television. Hanggang sa nag-college ako kasi wala kami television. Nag-work na ako sa Jollibee, wala pa rin kami television. But when I got my first incentive, I bought the first television gift for my mom. Because that is ganun ka kalukratil ang um, pagiging salesman. Okay? And ano pa? Last, in a company, now, ang main idea is selling. Like yung pharmaceutical, hindi mabubuhay ako, wala magbibenta ng kapot. Kami yung mga, kami yung mga cream no, of the company. We are the cream of the crop. Pag dumarating kami, tuwan-tuwa yung mga tao, pinagahanda kami, nagpapakwento, kasi we travel eh. Nagka-travel kami kung saan-saan. So, gusto-gusto nila marinig yung mga storya namin, yung aming mga, mga nangyayari sa buhay namin while we were selling and bumpered kami kasi without us the company wala naman magbibenta right? wala magbibenta ng product and this are I mean this are I think for me it is part of the my earning opportunities uh, kasi lumaki yung uh, lumaki yung yung commission lumaki yung kita mo by selling okay what else? Ano pa yung importante? Flexible working hours. Of course, if you're into sales, unlike sa Jollibee, unlike sa Jollibee class, comparing it, 
yung oras ko, minsan 6 hours, minsan 8 hours, pero bilang. Nandun yung kailangan para bayaran ka on a per hour basis. Otherwise, pag kulang ka sa oras, pabayaran ko. Alba, 7 hours ka lang. Magkano 7 hours? 150 times. Kung time mo yun, parang, you know what? Parang 50 pesos times times 7. Diba? Kasi pag alam mo, minimum mo, kung compare mo ngayon, ang um, um, minimum wage, daily minimum wage is 540 divided by 8. So, papatak para mga 70 pesos per hour. So, pag nawalan ka isang oras, pabawasan ka ng 70 pesos. Bugbug na bugbug ka na sa trabaho mo. On the other hand, well, while I was uh, in pharmaceutical, hindi kami binigilangan ng oras. Basta nato ka sa area mo, napaka-flexible. I, I wake up, kapag pa ako Kasi ang clinic ng doktor, nag-start yan, 10 o'clock. Alas, gis pa. So, you start working, pwede ako, pero ako, ginagawa ko sa class. I start my day early. I visit the drugstores, I talk to the drugstores, para naman, kahit wala akong reseta, may push yung gamot ko. So, it's really flexible. Sobrang flexi time. And, bottom line is, selling. Kailangan ma-reach mo ang quota mo. And, if I reach my quota ng two weeks, wow, the remaining two weeks of the month, I'm free. Free. Wala na akong Hindi ko na kailangan mag... Hindi naman sa hindi kailangan mag trabaho. But, you know, hindi ka na pressured to work. What else? Without strict supervision. And when you say without strict supervision, it's obvious. Di ba? Pag nandiyan ang boss mo, patatak, patatak, patatak. Gawin mo to, gawin mo to, gawin mo to. But in selling, especially if you're reaching your quota, your boss trust you. Trust you na you will you will reach your quota. Diba? No need. No supervision at all. Actually, pag sales, hindi naman no supervision. But, yun yan, limited. Tatawagan lang ako. Sabi, oh, Mark, kamo sa nang benta? Uh, sir, uh, second week natin, 90% na ako. 10% na lang tatrabuhi ko in two weeks. 10% work in two weeks? Wow. Nakapag-barasyon uh, kami. I, I get to... Kasi since I'm assigned in the project, I'm assigned in, in Laguna, Quezon, and Marinduque, and Lomblon, I get to spend time with my family na haga. Nakakawin na ako, nakakapagbarkada na ako. Compared to sa Jollibee, when I was working with Jollibee, pati Pasko nagtatrabaho ko, kas. pati pa, kasi iba yung doble bayad eh, double pay. Double pay pag Pasko, New Year, at mga holiday. If you work and if you report for work, double ang bayad. So the more na hindi ako nakakapag-bakasyon with my friends or even spend time with my family, kasi tali ako sa trabaho ko sa job. Pero nung ako ay may dread class, believe me, pag weekend, Friday pa lang, umuwi na ako. And spend time, and spend weekends with my friends and with my family. Sa job, the more na hindi ako makapag-trabaho pag holiday. At ang off ko nung sa Jollibee, I remember, uh, I know, I, I remember, if I remember it right, Wednesday. Wednesday ang off ko nung. So, pag Wednesday, tulog lang ako. Wala nga akong barkada kasi mga barkada ko nagkatrabaho. So, I really enjoy, I really enjoy my, my, my work as a medical representative or as a salesman. What else? What ad, uh, advantages more fun, more fun and adventurous opportunities to travel and of course meet people. It is, I think it's, it is one of the, the advantages na nagustuhan ko working as a salesperson. The fun and the travel. I get to go to Romblon. Romblon is my mother's hometown and I know I am the adopted son of Naging adapted sa na ako na ng Lord Lord. Uh, dahil at frequent visit, I go there every month. Libre. I go there every month ng libre. See? Nakapagpakasyon uh, ako sa probinsya ng nanay ko ng libre. And I became part of the Lord. I became one of them. And that I enjoy ko. That I enjoy ko during my ano. I get to meet people. I get to meet 
friends, my business partner, and her husband, doon kami nagkita, para kami ng sales. So, and now, how many years of friendship? 1995, 30 years of friendship. 30 years of friendship plus, and growing back. Siyempre, 1995, 2005, 2015, 25 years of friendship. 27, para, and 26 na. And these people are very, very dear to me. Sino ba? My cardiologist up to now, class. Up to now. The one taking care of my heart, I met him when I was still a medrek. Siya yung nag-cover. Siya yung binibisita kong doctor. And up to now, sama kami. Sino ba? A lot of people, class. A lot of people that I have met along the way during my travel. And I'm, ano, it's for free. I went to Davao, I went to Cebu, I traveled all over the Philippines being a medrek. But again, I'm so, so happy. Kasi free. Hindi naman ako gumastos. Kasi, pinabayaran ng company yung aking mga travels. Even plane fares, even tickets, uh, buses, lahat yan pinabayaran. Tapos, yun, doon ako nagkakotche. They started upgrading my car. Kaya ako, I traveled or I drove from Mindanao, uh, from Davao to Cagayan de Oro. Ten hours drive yun, class. From Davao to Cagayan de Oro. Yun, drive yun, just visiting my, nung time na naging supervisor, uh, manager na ako, watching my people or supervising my people. Oh. That's one of the benefits, class. And it's so, so sarap. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, what else? More fun. Flexible working hours. And of course, class, I think ito important. Eh. Less tension and intrigue. Avoiding boring working conditions. Less intrigue. Siyempre, pag nasa opisina kayo, diba, class, usually, parang classroom lang yan. Pagka parati kayo nagkikita-kita, parang tendency mag-aaway pa kayo. Diba? Well, on the other hand, if you're into sales class, if you are into sales, you meet people na iba-iba araw-araw. So, hindi, bibihira yung magiging close mo. Unlike sa office, araw-araw, 8 to 5. Time in, yun makikita mo. Time out, yun ang makikita mo. So, mas malaki yung chances of intrigues. Di ba? Mga lalo na kung may ma-check mo ka dun sa mga sa mga office mate ng mga chismoso. Okay. I mean, siguro ako, class, I wasn't born to be confined in an office setting. I am born to see the world. I am a student of life. I want to see the world. I want to learn. In fact, I said teaching, I want to learn from you. That's why medyo sad ako ng konde. Not to, to be face-to-face uh, -face with you. Yun yung aking kinalulungkot. But technically, class, I am a student of the world. Diba? Student of life. Gusto kong matuto. Gusto kong matuto small things. Doon ko nakuha yun. So because of my frequent travel and working outside the office. Okay? What else? Of course, less employment requirements. Nagkataon diba? lang, class. But my example is working as a medical representative. But plus, I started selling when I was only 10 years old. I'm selling cigarettes already when I was 10 years old. Doon ako naninigari ka, Plasa. Believe me, ako naninigari. I started selling cigarettes when I was only 10 years old. Takatak. Takatak, takatak. Sabit, takatak, takatak. But it's selling. Already started selling. Kailangan bang graduate ako na tignan ako ng cigarette ako. I was only 10 years old. All I have are my skills. Anong skills ko? Sumakahi sa jeep. Sumabit sa jeep. Diba? Magbenta. Magsisip na sa garilyo. Diba? Para. Diba si po? That is selling, man. Yeah. I was already selling when I was only 10 years old. I started selling cigarettes, banana fuel, Tiginda ka. Masakay ka sa jeep. 
It's already selling. This traditional selling, kailangan mo ba ng, kailangan ba ng employment? Kailangan ba ng uh, requirements for employment? Kailangan ba? Kailangan ba may NBA ka para nagtinda ka ng, ng sigarilyo? Ng balot? Balot! Para nagtinda ka ng tahok? Tahok! Kailangan ba? No. You see people roaming around selling plastic uh, containers, even clothes, fruits, these are salesmen. Do they need requirements? Plus, even right now, meron tayong mga tinatawag na na tawag mga call center agents. Usually, they, they hire people who can talk. Tuturuan na nila mag-English. Tuturuan nila mag-salita. But, kailangan ba? Graduate ba? If you have the skill set para magbenta. If you have that motivation para magbenta, then you can be a sales. Motivation for me is the number one characteristic of being a sales. I was motivated class. I was motivated to help my family. I was motivated to earn more for my family para makagraduate yung mga kapatid ko. That is my main uh, goal. Kaya ako naging salesman. Jollibee is giving me enough money. But it's just enough to feed my family. But not to send them to school. But when I became a salesman, I gave them schooling. I gave them education. Kaya ganun kalaki ng aking pagmamahal sa pagiging salesman ko. Actually, up to now naman. Up to now, I'm still... I'm still happy. So, employment? No need. Importante lang sa mga ibang companies that you should be at least for your course kasi it's part of siyempre education like ako nagtataon ng BS Biology ako. I have this grasp of medical terms kung saan ano ba yung part ng body at saan ba naman dapat inumin pagkasakit ng ulo yung mga, kasi ano yan eh it's it's a learning. Kaya masaya-masaya ako nung ako ay nag-medle. Nag okay? What else? Less employment. Oh, chances of promotion and growth. Chances of promotion and growth. Of course, class. In selling, since in company namin ay sales, yung growth class, hindi naman kukunin dun sa mga tao na sa opisina. Like ako, I was I was promoted at the age of 26 as an area sales manager for the whole province of Mindanao. Ang kataon, binata pa ako ng class. So, I'm so happy to, to travel. Kasi, yun nga, ipa ko libre. So, I got the job dahil maganda yung performance ko nung ako ay nasa sales nung ako ay nagbebenta nung, nung produkto. Uh, they considered na uh, I will be a good manager overseeing people under me and teaching them how to be a salesperson. So, I think it became, an, uh, it became my edge over my other competitors na I'm, I'm meeting my quota, I have a good relationship with the doctors. Uh, I learned my strength and my weaknesses because class in selling that is that is very very important. Learning your strengths and your weaknesses, and that will be my next topic for my next video. So subscribe so we can watch what will be how do you determine or how to be a salesman. The making of a salesman for my next video. Thank you.